Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm gonna to be doing your love reading for the month of June. Okay, we're gonna be starting with the Island Time Wellness. Definitely gonna to try to be consistent this summer, so you may see me a lot, finally. <laughs> All right, let's get started here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. What do we have here for the month of June? We have Hands of Cards. All right, take a chance, risk, being strategic. Um, options, not showing hand gambling. We have Cupid's, Cupid's Arrow. Okay. Um, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Hesitation. Let's see here what we have here for Aries. Okay. We have karmic relationship. Um, feeling Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Heartbroken at the bottom of the deck. Aries, I honestly feel like this is... Not all the same energy. I'm feeling like this. I mean, you could obviously all be going through all of this, right? But I do feel that these are a bit of a separate type of energy. It's, how do I put this? It's kind of like a transformation somebody may be going through here, right? And you're going through different periods of these emotions or you're going through different periods of these this energy here. And we're going to clarify as we go on. So, for instance, the hands of cards, right? It's not always about someone being played. It could be somebody here who is trying to be deceptive and get over on you. But I'm also feeling like this is the energy of someone who needs to take a chance on love. Um, maybe you're always finding yourself being super picky or rejecting everyone before you're really getting to know them. If that sounds like you, that may be you because that's the energy I'm feeling with this hands of cards. It's not really a, someone's playing you. Now, we I do see that there could be a karmic that is coming back around. Um, and that karmic could be trying to manipulate. But for the majority of people, I feel like this is someone who needs to take a chance and love in this month of June. Because you may have someone coming in with the Cupid's arrow. Um, because it's your time. It's your time. Okay? So you may have to do something that you've never done before. Right? You may have to be the person that approaches someone. Maybe you've had your eye on someone and maybe it's like, okay... You're nervous. Maybe you need to be the one to step forward and say, hey, I'm interested. Okay. And that's what I'm feeling with this hands of cards energy. I do feel that, you know, even if a karmic is not coming back into your life, a lot of the hesitation to take leaps of faith to new love can still be residual energy from a past karmic relationship that you are still not completely healed from. Okay, look at that at the bottom of the deck. Transformation, I told you. Um, the card that came out was Sacred Union. I think this card came out yesterday. I did a reading. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. I do feel like, let's pull some cards before I move forward on this um, Sacred Union. Guys, I'm just finishing a workout, so I'm itchy and hot. <laughs> um, so if you see me, I saw the Ace of Swords because this feels like a newer connection. I'm going to pull some cards in this Sacred Union card to see what this is about. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys and angels, look at that. See, Ace of Swords again, Ace of Swords in the tower. What is, I see the devil at the bottom of the deck, could be Capricorn, dealing with a Capricorn. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles of the Capricorn. Someone here, it could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but I just feel like this is a newer connection, but let's see what the Sacred Union is about. All right, so we're the King of Wands. <clears throat> we have the Strength card. Wow, <laughs> look at that. And the Queen of Wands. This is a sacred union. But what's going on with this union? What's going on with this? Let me tell you what's going on with this. Four of Cups. I feel like, too, there's two individuals here that may be ignoring the connection that's between you two or holding back. Um, I'm not sure what the reasons are. It could be distance. It could be... Um, it could be a lot of things here, but this is a divine pair. Queen of Wands, King of Wands could be two 
um, fire signs, or they can have fire strongly in their chart and have C Leo Aries. I mean, it's everything fire right here, really. But um, let me just clarify one here. We have mature man, toil and labor here. Let's see, wealthy man. And we have thoughts. See, there's a connection here and there's no action. I see two people thinking about it. Um, you could know this person from work. or it, And what I'm getting from this toil and labor also, I see the woman here. I see the mature man here. But how I see this woman is that she has her head down in her work. Um, and it's kind of like... It's kind of like she's trying to consume herself with work. Aries card just fell out um, in order to not take action towards this connection. So that could make resonate for someone here. All right, let's keep going here and see the energies for the month of June. What do we have here in love for the month of June? The Aries. What is the overall energy for the month of June? We have release. Okay. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. So yeah, see, I still feel that someone needs to completely look. And like, look, this doesn't mean that you just left a relationship or you're just getting over a relationship. I mean, this could be something that happened to you a few years ago and you it's still buried deep within you you haven't really faced it maybe you need to journal about it maybe you need to third like seek a therapy session about it find group therapy but i feel like there's a strong energy of someone really needing to clear um their energy from any karmic relationships and that doesn't have to be like the worst relationship but it mean a relationship that you've had a lot of lessons um and we have spontaneity in reverse you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. So spontaneity is in reverse, meaning that someone here is not being in that true Aries essence. We are pretty spontaneous individuals. Sometimes we get a bad rep for acting before thinking, but sometimes it works out for us, right? But I feel like in this instance, somebody here is not taking that chance is not taking that leap of faith right that was the first card out with the hands of cards taking a little gamble here to get what you want all right so again the death card is at the bottom of the deck which is also transformation this is about to be a huge turning point in someone's life when it comes to love the trust here i'm not sure if it came out in verse i don't think so it says i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly let me read that again I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay, so there's a love situation here where you really have to listen to your intuition and not listen to your fears. Okay. What's that little saying? Faith over fear. Just let them be, guys. Let them be. His birthday is tomorrow. He wants to act a fool. Let him act a fool today. Look at that. What fell out? Trust again. Come here, Puggy. Let the mailman deliver. Come here. Come here. Come see everyone. Come look. Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. What is all the fussing about? It's okay. It's all right. Let the mailman do his job, okay? All right. All right. This is his favorite position to be held in. It's okay. All right. Go um go eat your food. Go ahead. Ugh. Go eat. <laughs> you you fooled me. You fooled me. Go eat. All right, so we have trust again. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Wow, trust, <laughs> double whammy. Okay, somebody really needs this message out here that you need to go ahead and trust that everything's going to be okay. Not only that is everything going to be okay, but I feel like there's someone here that's needing to take a leap towards something and just like really have faith. 
really have faith. Let's pull again the energies this month for June. Ooh, flirt. Okay, so this is that Page of Wands energy. You could be starting a newer connection or getting to know someone in the month of June, or you start small conversation with someone and you're flirting and you're, you know, asking to go out on a date. It's like the beginning stages of something developing, especially here with the Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. Um, hesitation. Let's see here. Let's pull one more for the month of June for the Aries Collective. What do we have here for Aries for the month of June? Put this card over here. Ooh, I love it. Aries, calling in your soulmate. Okay. Um, some of you, look, it's here. It's here. The person is here. They're here. You've manifested this, and they're probably about to show up in front of your face. And then all of a sudden you get stuck or you get frozen or you start to doubt what's happening. Um, yeah, you you need to know that you've asked for this. You can't, you know, ask and pray for something. And then when it arrives, you not do anything about it. OK, and so as your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together. So it's working. Whatever you're doing is working when that card comes out. I love it. Let's pull a angel answers card. Now you're sitting like a sophisticated gentleman. I love it. I wish you guys could see him. He's sitting like a human right now on his butt with his back against the couch. <laughs> Legs wide open. Okay. Oh, goodness. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> So that spirit is really digging into someone. Uh, communicate clearly. How are they going to know? How are they going to know? You know, how are they going to know that you like them or vice versa, right? It's, it's about the communication this month. There is a very beautiful union that is developing or somebody could be returning if that's the case. Um, but yeah, communication is key when it comes to this connection, okay? So what are the cards that I wanted to use for this reading? Let's take a look. I will clarify with these. Okay. Let's set these. I'm very drawn to these cards as of lately. All right. Twelve twenty on the clock. Twelve twenty is my son's birthday. They say it's a very special message when you see people's birthdays on the clock. I see my the time of my birth all the time as well, and then my birthday. Good omen. So let's see here. What do we have here for the Aries collective Holy Spirit, Spirit as the angels? Please allow me to deliver a clear message here for Aries for the month of June in love. Seven of Cups. Okay. Daydreaming. Somebody's in this energy of daydreaming, hoping, wishing for this connection. It could just be like your heads are your head is in the clouds. Um, this also could be someone here who is kind of confused, maybe. I'm hearing on social cues. What does that mean? Like on social cues. So maybe somebody's not sure if to act because look at that two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's the energy of being unsure. Should I take a chance? Should I not take a chance? Knight of swords, page of swords. Yeah. Oh, five of swords. Very A lot of thoughts, but not a lot of action. Um, seven of cups here. This could also be like somebody here who's admiring you daydreaming about you, right? Um, I'm not really getting that someone's making someone an option. I just feel like someone here has their heads in the clouds, okay? Maybe not taking the necessary steps. Now, we'll clarify and see if that changes, but let's see here. What is the challenge in love this month? Empress. Empress in love, okay? So the empress can represent new love, all right? Libra Taurus energy. This is also Aries divine counterpart. 
Um, but it's in the challenged position. So what is this telling me? It's telling me that somebody here is in their divine feminine energy. You could be a male or female, but you're not acting like it. You're not um, attracting what you desire because you're not in your empress, your divine feminine energy. Why is that? Is the question. Damn, this um, incense just came out of nowhere. A lot. It's my money incense, so maybe that's a good sign there. Um, let's see here. What is spirit? What are you focused on, Aries? Four of Swords. Healing. There's still a little bit of healing that needs to be done. Um, I mean, he, okay, this is, I don't know who could use this or what, but it's coming to me. Um, if there's something here and you're like, well, I don't really know what I should be doing or what needs to be healing. It feels like something to do with communication. I feel that somebody needs to take a day. Take a day, a whole day, I mean, it doesn't have to be 24 hours, but a part of your day, right, where you're not doing nothing, and maybe you dedicate this in the morning, and you sit with yourself, and you ask spirit, what is it that is hindering me, or stopping me, or blocking me, or what is it that is still needs to be looked at and examined, because it's like something here, and this card, the Four of Swords, this person is not laying in the coffin like in most four of swords. This person is nailing the coffin. So there's a situation that really needs to be healed. And then you need to go ahead and bury it. Like it doesn't even need to resurface anymore. Like once you've actually taken the time to focus on whatever this is, it's, go it's done. It's never going to be an issue again. But I really feel like someone needs to make some time for themselves and see what that is. It's going to be different in a lot of people. Maybe it's abandonment issues. Maybe it's, you know, your throat chakra may be blocked and you may have trouble speaking up for yourself or taking action. But someone here really needs to focus on what this is and not allow it to be a problem or an issue anymore. With this karmic relationship, I'm seeing that like it's not this is not the karmic relationship. It's something from your past that is still a trigger. OK, um, it's a lesson that still needs to be learned. And it says letting go and loving you after that. All right, five of pentacles in the reverse. So you may have had some challenges in your past that you are trying to get over and you are actively getting over. You may have felt abandoned in your past. That may be the issues that you're getting over, abandonment issues, because the five of pentacles is in reverse. Look at that, the emperor at the bottom of the deck. There you are, Aries, in your power. Oh, okay. So what I just got with that, when the emperor, I heard father, okay? So someone here could have abandonment issues from their father. Um, really need to take a look at that, okay? I don't care how healed you think you are, spirit is bringing something back up. Um, you really need to take a look at that, okay? That could be, and it shows that there's great progress in the past, okay? Because the five of pentacles is in reverse, but it may be something like one more nail you need to put in the coffin and then just let it go forever. Okay. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah. Could be talking to a female. Just don't have to be, but let's see here. What is crowning Aries? Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. When it comes to love, the Ace of Pentacles is a new commitment. Okay. A new beginning with someone here. Okay, it could be an earth sign, Aries. It doesn't have to be, but if someone here is going to be very serious about um, their commitment to you. All right. Let's see here. Also could be like a proposal, engagement, of something of that sort. Um, what came out here in the future position? Goodness. Wow, another ace? Okay. Two of uh, swords and the ace of cups. There's a little bit confusion here. This feels like fear. This is why we have all those trust cards. The ace of cups, we know, right, is a new beginning in love, right? Um, but the two of swords is something that's blocking it. And it feels that it could be um, 
like somebody is uncertain whether this is real somebody is uncertain if they're worthy of this it, it's feeling very it's like uncertainty should i go for it look at that two of cups at the bottom of the deck so it's like a soulmate connection but somebody is either you're blocking this energetically like you're like because of your uncertainties and i mean if you're manifesting you have to be sure about what you're manifesting right Ooh, all these cards just fell out. Um, and I'm not saying, oh, you're, you're blocking this and you're going to be blocking it forever. It, the fact that it's coming out in this reading is to help you. If something comes out in this reading that you don't like, it means that you, this is what you need to take a look at. Take it seriously because spirit is trying to help you navigate through this situation. So there's some sort of confusion around a new opportunity in love with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. Again, it could be someone's closed off. Maybe you think you're open up emotionally and you're not um, because the Empress is in the challenge position as well. So there's something here that needs to be done around loving you, pouring into you, and knowing that you're worthy of the love that you desire. Let's see here. What is the... Four of Wands. Yeah, I love this, Aries, for you, though. So this could be definitely a divine union coming to you. Your partner, um, your life partner. Look at that. As I said that, the Hierophant slipped out. And this could be your life partner coming towards you. Four of Wands here, Twin Flame, divine union here. This could also be a marriage card, but you're, you're ready. It's like you're ready on the outside, but there's still a little work on the inside that needs to be done, which is, it's okay. You just got to match them up, line those two up. Six of Swords, you're moving on from any kind of difficult relationships that you've had in the past. Um, Ace of Swords, like, wow. Let's see here. What's in your environment? What is that? Six of Wands. Um, Six of Wands. Oh, goodness. <laughs> The cards are jumpy today. Or is it mean? Or is this the nine of wands? Okay. So it came in reverse. Let me see here. I'm trying to figure out what card this is. Came in reverse. This is the nine of wands. Okay. Well, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing that it's in reverse. Um, depending on who it is. If this is this new person, which it feels like it is, because we have ace of pentacles, ace of cups. This person may be trying to let their guard down or they may have had, had some um, a need to have high boundaries before and that may have been the reason why there was a blockage between this thing getting off the ground. We'll clarify and see. I see the two of pentacles. So sometimes that's the indicator of there's something else or someone else. But let's see here. Aries, how are you feeling on the in your inner emotions about this situation? The magician. <laughs> So you're manifesting. You have completely manifested this with the calling in your soulmate. Um, you're doing whatever it takes really to create this new love. I'm seeing this person here has a lot of tools here. Divination. Um, you're possibly listening to readings, love spells, whatever. It's just it's a lot of it's a lot going on. I'm saying love spells because I see the candles here. It's a lot going on, but you're creating this. You are manifesting this new beginning. To me, the magician is, is like the ace. It's like an ace as well. It's like it's the confirmation that you're getting what you want. It's the confirmation that you are getting what you have created. Wow, beautiful. The wheel of fortune and the outcome. So with the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck, this is telling me that, you know, if you've had any difficult situations in love in the past, that is changing for you now. A lot of positive readings coming out for you, Aries. I feel like the energy is really shifting right now. Um, the retrograde is about to end as well. So any communication issues like this Two of Swords with the Ace of Cups may be lifted after that. Um, we need more information on this person, though. Like, who is this? It does feel like a newer energy. So that's why I'm going to try and figure out which card I should use. Because with the flirt... Oh, God. Somebody just passed by my window and I was hoping that Pugsley didn't see it, but he's sleeping. <laughs> just when I said that, he looked up at the window, but they're gone. All right, I'm going to clarify a little bit and then I'm going to take um, another deck and we're going to get some information about this person because it seems like it's a newer, it's a newer person. 
Let's take a look. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune first and love for Aries. <laughs> My goodness. I just like when spirit, <laughs> thank you, spirit, like spirit, I'd be on it. I'm telling you, I'll be on it. OK, this is a brand new person. This is a brand new relationship. Um, this is a brand new connection. This is something that you have not been in before. I promise you. OK, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups, it's really good. It's going to be really good. OK, Ace of Cups twice came out. Aries, you have new love. New love coming in. New, 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 new. Okay? This is not a past karmic. This is not a past person returning. Um, well, for some of you, if that's what you're manifesting, if you're wanting this past relationship, it could be. If you feel that this is resonating to something. But for the majority, with the release here, this is something you've released the old already and this is a lot of new beginnings especially with the flirt card i mean people like to make readings fit to whatever but this this is a new this is a new love okay all right what is the will of fortune Woo, aries hot looking hot queen of wands here what else do we have here with the will of fortune okay i'm about to go I'm about to go. I'm about to go. What is that? Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm about to go. Aries, look at this. We got the Five of Cups here. It came in reverse. So, I mean, not Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles twice here. Aries, let me tell you something. I feel that somebody has had a difficult time in relationships because let me show you we have the five of pentacles in reverse five of pentacles here in the past position it came out somebody has had a lot of difficulties when it's come to relationships maybe you've always gotten the short end of the stick you may have gone through a lot of ghosting situations um because sometimes that's what the five of pentacles is where did this card come from it just flipped out ace of pentacles oh the ace of pentacles twice. so the wheel is turning on that all your past relationship situations, the wheel is turning on that. We have the Wheel of Fortune here being clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it doesn't, the Ace of Pentacles also came out in what's crowning you. So you have a new connection coming in. It could be with an earth sign. It could be with somebody who is also fire in their chart. Um, but you're looking hot in June, okay? Queen of Wands, she gets what she wants, okay? She gets what she wants. She's a very attractive person, um, very sexy person, a lot of sex appeal. This could be male or female, very charismatic here. Um, but she gets what she wants. Um, and that's because she takes action. She takes action though, right? This is not just somebody who's just like, Oh, you know, I'm just sitting here and you're just coming to me. She does take it. She does her little thing, her little one, two step. Let's put, put it that way. She's not chasing anybody, but, uh, she does create a situation to turn out in her favor. Okay. Um, the queen of wands could be associated with magic and manifesting as well. All right. Let's take a look here at, that's very beautiful. Let's take a look here at the Nine of Wands in reverse that's in your environment. These cards trying to flip out. Eight of Wands. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Aries, I feel, I see the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Aries, I feel that this is a person here that kind of needed to get, um, how do you say this? I wanted to say mojo, but it's like there was a situation that this person may have been holding on to. Okay. It could have been another person. It just could have been a disappointment more than anything. That's what I'm feeling like. And it's like after they release whatever this is, because it's like they're letting their guard down with the nine of wands in reverse. They're a page of pentacles here. They may have not been communicating with you or communicating what was going on, but I feel that they are letting their guard now. And then that's when the communication is about to fly in. Okay. The communication is going to get real hot and passionate <laughs> this summer. We, this, whoever this person is, is matching your energy because they have the four of wands. You have the four of wands in your energy. Okay. But I do see with the four of pentacles, they may have been holding back. I do see that this person, whoever this is, is desiring what you are desiring. King of Pentacles energy could have strong earth in their chart. Um, or this is a person who's, who's ready for a commitment as well. Let's clarify the magician. Wow. 
Aries, you've you've been on it, huh? And the manifesting game, you have been on it. Look at that. The magician, the lovers, and um, calling in your soulmate. Whatever you're manifesting, however you've been doing it, whatever you've been doing, drop it in the comment section. Let us know. If you've been intentionally manifesting a lover, let us know how you've been doing it in the comment section because it's working. Someone is coming in for you. Could be a Gemini here. Strong Gemini with the magician and the um, lovers. Wow. And look at that. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Um, let's take a look at this Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. Did I say Two of Cups? Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. I see exactly what's going on. I'll pull one more. I see exactly what's going on here. So look at this, Aries. It's like, I don't know if this is you. It feels like you. It's, there's a fear here. A fear here. It's kind of like, will I ever have success in love? You know, Will I ever be able to have a, a strong connection? Will I ever move towards love? Will I ever move towards this Ace of Cups? You know, this is like a lot of sleepless nights or crying about, you know, am I ever going to have a new opportunity in love? You got to kill that shit and you got to kill it quick, okay? That might be the delay or the blockage for this coming in, okay? That energy. It's like you, even when you feel yourself about to slip, find yourself to do something to just take your mind off of love, okay? If you feel yourself about to get into an energy where it's like, woe is me, will I be single forever? Don't even go there. You know, sometimes it's like, it's it's okay to feel those things, but that kind of negative thinking... I would recommend don't even go there because it's it's a lie. It's you know it's a lie that's trying to plant roots in your brain, and the more and more it plants, it's going to sprout up. Okay, and uh, what you think about is what you bring about. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So commitment is coming, Aries. Underneath that, we have the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune again. Commitment is coming. Let's take a look at the um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, nine of pentacles. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I just told you guys the other day, look at that 10 of cups. That nine of pentacles is someone here, an individual who is thriving, happily single, enjoying life. But now they're ready for that partner. They're ready for that person to bring in the ace of pentacles. And look at that, to make the 10 of pentacles. This is an amazing reading, okay? Can we all claim this reading together? Let the church say amen, all right, okay? Um absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful let's clarify this empress here that's um in the challenge position page of cups and the fool there's a new beginning in love here again honestly this empress is in this challenge position yeah seven of swords here i feel that these are your own thoughts aries um you're robbing yourself of this new love this new beginning just solely based off of the way that you're thinking okay seven of swords here um the fool the page of cups new love new encounters in love it's like you're robbing yourself of an opportunity for a new love because of the way that you are thinking um easy fix easy fix if you're consistent easy fix if you're intentional um about healing whatever this whatever has gotten you triggered like this right it's definitely a trigger um you just need to be really intentional about this healing okay let's take a look at the seven of cups that was the first card that came out the world the ending of any confusion of any um the ending of being an option to anyone three of cups this is a, a celebratory energy here coming together and the magician again <laughs> getting out of your head airs this could be you getting out of your head right and once you get out of your head you'll have success um, three of cups here. This is like a coming together. This doesn't with the magician. This is not a past person. Okay. The magician represents new energy. It's very fun time. It's like 
you're going to be enjoying, you're going to be able to enjoy this more once you get out of your head because you're going to start seeing your manifestations to materialize in the form of a lover here. Um, this is very beautiful. You may meet this person at a party or a gathering is what I'm getting. Um, it could be a club. It could be like you're going out, but this feels like an intimate setting, like a party. Maybe you're invited somewhere or something like that. Or maybe you're going out to eat and you run into this person. But yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to close this out. This is very beautiful. Very beautiful. I did say I would pull some cards to see who, um, how we know who this person is, any indication of what Aries needs to look out for, if this is a brand new person. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging because I always forget when I promise something at the end of the reading. All right, so tell us about how we're going to know who this person is for the Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, or rising Aries. How are we going to know? Well, all these cards wanted to flip over. Okay, let's just take these. Um, Aries. Wow. First of all, the person is single. They are single, single. Nine of pentacles here. They're matching your energy. Uh, nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles, hard worker, right? This is someone here I feel that is also very focused on healing themselves. Also, I'm seeing that this person works out, okay, with the eight of pentacles, then the nine of pentacles, they take care of their body, whoever this is. This is, I'm sorry, excuse me, this is not no sloppy person, okay? Um, this person is very invested in themselves, not in, the e not in the egotistical way, but in a way that they know that they need to be bettering themselves, healing themselves, working on their goals. I'm getting big physical energy, but... Um, physical fitness energy kind of thing now they don't have to be some gym rat but maybe say for instance they watch what they eat or you know they started walk they're doing something in the physical form to take care of themselves okay nine of pentacles and eight of pentacles here nine of cups this person here it feels they're very emotionally available and this is somebody who you've been desiring or the type of person that you've been desiring their wish fulfillment Page of Wands, It you could have talked to this person already, okay? Could be a friend, um, could be a neighbor. Page of Wands is a very new energy, so it doesn't have to be anybody from your past because we have the flirt card, and I said Page of Wands is like that flirting energy. So it is a newer energy. Um, I feel that there could have been texting communication, or there will be very quickly here with the um, chariot, possibly cancer season, Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's pull a few more. How do we know who this person is? Two of Wands. Could meet this person traveling. Queen of Pentacles. Could have Earth in their chart as well. Or they could have left a connection. Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here. Some of you, this could be a work situation. You work together, you meet each other in crossing. This is very specific here. Um, this could also be a situation where, sorry, my nose ring is like moving around. Somebody told me the other day in the comment section, um, it's really rude to be playing with your nose. If you see me playing with my nose, it's my nose ring. It's, it's loose now. I need a new one. And whoever said that, <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, three of pentacles and the knight of cups with the queen of pentacles. This like could be also someone here that you meet in work, a work setting, collaborative energy. Maybe like you're out, let's say for instance, you're in a business meeting, like you go to Starbucks or something like that, and this person walks in, something like that. Some people are always like, oh, well, I don't want to date anybody at work. That's what I mean by that, okay? This also could be friends setting, you know, you're in a friend setting group and somebody sets you up, something like that, or hey, I want you to meet this, this friend of mine. That's what I'm getting here. Like you're being introduced to someone. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's pull one more in the pepper. We have the main female. Okay. Aries, that could be you, the person coming towards you. Ooh, pr imprisonment in reverse. Ooh. And distant horizons <laughs> at the bottom of the deck we have sudden wealth okay let me clarify this imprisonment in reverse see what this is about what is this 
Knight of Wands. Okay, so, okay. All right, Aries, Knight of Wands and the Magician freaking again. Look, when you, this imprisonment card, nobody's in jail or anything like that. But when you get out of your head, this is a specific message for someone. When you get out of your head, whatever you have been manifesting is going to fly in. This person is going to come charging forward. The only thing that I feel that is keeping you from new love or meeting this person is that somebody here may have a very negative mindset that really keeps them stuck. Okay. Could meet this person on a trip with the distant horizons as well. Um, we have main female. So you could be the main female or this, you know, ooh, queen of swords, king of pentacles, and the six of swords. You could be the main female Aries or men you were about to meet the one. Okay. The main female is like the one. You are the one. If you're a female, you're about to be their one. Men, you're about to meet the one. Okay. Strong energy on a trip or travel. You could be meeting this person like away from your home. Okay, with the distant horizons. That's enough for today. All right, so <laughs> I didn't flicked off my viewers and everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, to, but that really made me upset. Like, girl, first of all, get out of my nose. Okay, anyways, take care, bye. Talk to you later.